Welcome back <clears throat> to Resident Evil Remake. We're in the last episode. We um, came into Lisa's cabin. Let's see what's going on over here. Darn, we missed it. Usually uh, you can see Lisa as she walks past you from this end over here. But unfortunately we missed it this time. So I'm going to go over here. The knockout. Saw this in the last episode. Now this is kind of interesting because it's like, why did Lisa just leave her knocked out? Was she planning to do anything or? Because she obviously dragged you down here. All right, so. Dang it, I was gonna try and get past her without getting hit. And look how creepy looking that is. She is just so disturbing. Hacking up stuff. Uh, no, I don't have any herbs. Just so disturbing. Whoops. See you later. Lisa Trevor. We'll see you a couple more times. Ah, here we go. Go ahead and take some of that. Man, she does a lot of damage. I used to be scared and thought she would follow you out here, but she doesn't. Okay, is there anything up here? I don't think this is where I came from, is it? Yeah, it is. This is the cabin. Yeah, okay, yeah. So let me go back down here. See where my zombie friend is. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, how? How? How did I? Oh my god, I hate this. The way the camera angle does its thing tricks me. Hey. Oh, man. Shouldn't have drank so much, dude. Alright, so I got the crank now, so I can go... Uh, okay, yeah. I can go outside the other doors. And then I can flush the water and do that whole thing. What's going on, crows? There we go. Go on up here. I love how it's just windy. There's no music, there's nothing here. It's just the noises of outside. All right, here we go, back inside. Pretty sure there's some zombie dogs right through this door. So we gotta take care of these guys real quick and This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Typical. <laughs> Good God, what the hell? Yeah, I don't have the health to be wasting. Jeez, what steroids are these dogs on? Good lord. Got me all messed up. I'm ready to get to the cabin area because it's honestly it's one of my favorite areas. And I love the music of the cabin. They didn't really get me in fine. It looks like the, a fountain, but there's no water coming out. Okay, so I absolutely love the cabin music in this game. 
If I can get up there, there we go. It just sounds so... I don't know, it's just it's a good tune. Just got such a long way to go to get there. Now in the original version of this little scene right here, the sound effect that it makes is the same sound effect that the um, Seinfeld sitcom makes when uh, I don't know which character it is opens up a wine bottle, they pop off the cork, and as they're screwing off the cork, it sounds just like Jill when she's turning this crank in the 1996 version. So let's get on down here. I think a bunch of baby snakes are going to come falling down. And we want to stay clear of them. Well, I don't guess they're baby snakes. They're just normal snakes. They're not falling down right now, so maybe it's when you come back. But I always consider them baby snakes for some reason because I guess Yawn is such a big snake that I always assume that they're like offspring from Yawn. Oh, are well, you stupid crows? I won't mess with you if you don't mess with me. Alright, so we don't have the battery for that yet, so I gotta go this way. Continue taking the long way. Okay, do I have space for it? I do not. Oh well. There's the snakes. Yeah, see, they're just normal sized snakes. I always called them baby snakes. <sighs> Got a viewpoint in jail. Okay, and now that view camera's gone forever. See, hear that music? Some good music. I love it. It's great. Alright, so in the wonderful save room that everybody loves. Um got some ink ribbons. I will go ahead and take those. I'll definitely take that. And first aid spray on the ground. Okay, let me go over here and put up some stuff. Don't need the ink ribbons. Um, I'll actually use this herb to get me back on fine, and then I'll grab this health spray. Put that in the item box, because we don't need that either, for the time being. Now, one thing I really do hope that future Resident Evil's do and bring back is music you know I really want music to be back in these things because it's plays a pretty big part in it because I always consider like music in a game the soul of a game like the gameplay and all that's like the body of it and then like the soul of it is the music because that's the cool that's the good thing about the music man it never ages Graphics will always change, but the music will always, it can sound good forever. So put, oh my god, it's not enough. There we go. Come on, Jill. There you go. And I think every time you walk out of the room, you have to move this stupid block again. I could be wrong. I hope I am. Yeah, I have to be. No, I'm not. I'm not. Because to get back up, you climb up here. So every time that block moves, and I don't understand why. Because how's the block going to magically move? Alright. I wish I remember how. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not. 
not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Well, let me uh, grab this map real quick. Got the residence map for Resident Evil. All right, all right, well, anyways, let's go in here and check it out. See what all that was about. Bum, 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 bum. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Ah, Barry. The Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at Point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in, compar oh, in comparison with the other groups of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-Virus has dirat Wow. Drastically morphed its host and autonomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its roots. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went, made, and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it is used, or we are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle like vines <clears throat> are protruding. Oh wow! Protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacles like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vines drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vine tw twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim of the Plant 42. When we, when we heard of the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. Whoa. When the uniform petal like flaps open and reveal its virtual internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness report that it was as if Oh okay, whoa. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sorton. So that's the story of the Plant 42, which I love Plant 42. Such a good design of an enemy. Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on them. So if somebody vomited blood on the newspapers, I wonder, if, was that Wesker? Nothing special there. I know there's something in here like, yeah, here we go. I knew there was another door. 
I'm gonna go in here and check it out and see what's going on in here real quick before I end the episode. Can I not interact with the bathtub? Okay, there's a shiny key. Will you take the residence key? Wait a second. Oh, heck. Uh -huh. Wasn't expecting that. That was actually kind of cool. I forgot that even happens. Like, wow. You can play a game so much and still be surprised by it. It's, I love it. You know, we got the classic music going back on. That right, that music right there is actually some of my favorite music. Yeah, let me go back in there real quick and listen to that, because I love that music. Because this is actually in the original Resident Evil 1996. They kept this. This is the original soundtrack. The main part's what I like. Here it is. Well, I thought it was, but oh well. While I'm in here, is there anything else of value? Okay, yeah, there is this basement thing down here I could do later, but I'm not going to worry about that. Oh. oh, there it is. Yeah, I like that music, but anyways, it doesn't look like there's anything in here I can do for now. I could go in that basement area, but I don't have any purpose yet, I don't think. But we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we need to. For now, I'm going to go over here. Now let's see if I was right. Let's see if the box moves. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, sweet, it doesn't. Great. Oh. Well, that's stupid. Whatever. Alright, so. There's no further use for this key. Discard it. Yes. Alright, well, the door is unlocked and we will be entering that room in the next episode. And I'm looking forward to it because I love it. And hopefully, if I did things right, I know you gotta do certain things in a certain way for certain things to happen. Uh, hopefully I can get something to activate in that room. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. Let's save. Yes! Alright, so we will end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll open that door and check it out. So I will see you all for the next episode of Resident Evil Remake. See you all then.